Well, I'm just doing an initial look-see at this uh, first series sport, the one everybody wants with the uh, enormous 230mm double-sided single leading shoe Gramica on the front. Um, Laverda fitted these to a 750 and here it is on a 350. They're uh, quite a lump, they, the, I think the, the drum assembly weighs about 20 kilos so it's, uh, it's not a light beast. A um, bit overkill but it's uh, an impressive thing to have on there. Um, it's running its original Barani rims front and rear. Uh, still got the steering damper fitted. Don't think it works. I think it's uh, it hasn't got any um, oil left in it. But that's all to the good. They really don't need the steering damper. It really gets in the way. It's an original exhaust system. It's still got its air box, which is good. I've taken one of the rubbers off, which was was split and. Part of the reason it's split is that the um, the little screw-on bell mouth on these early carbs is, um, I guess, some kind of Zamac, and uh, it's completely rotted and crumbling, uh, which sometimes happens, so I'll have to source some plastic replacements. I don't know if I've got any more spares. Uh, we might have to uh, order them in. All of the... Uh, or I should say most of the wiring looks to be original and unmolested which is a uh, nice to see um, we've still got these original metal strap um, cable ties we've got the little wire hook here which I forget exactly what it's meant to be for but they often uh, have gone it's had the flip-up choke lever is converted to cable but it is the most horrendous convoluted installation if we come around to the it's had both carbs done which is unnecessary and it's got a, a splitter box and you know just look at that cable routing that that that's no good that's not gonna work so I mean I may um, I'll talk to the owner before I uh, change it, you see here's the, the choke lever. Doing one carb, yeah I can see that it's more convenient than reaching underneath the tank. Uh, but you generally don't need both chokes except for really cold and then it's not too much of a, uh, a chore to um, flip both of them on, start it and then flip one off and it'll run on the other one then. And uh, the throttle cable routing's not so good and there's zero slack in one of the throttle cables with the adjuster all the way in and the slides aren't uh, anything like synchronized so it couldn't have um, uh, ridden particularly nicely a lot of people wouldn't uh, wouldn't know the difference they'll never ridden one that was actually properly set up it's got its original early style heat shield uh, even the chrome's not too bad on that, the exhaust nuts <laughs> I've never seen a set of exhaust nuts as unmolested as those are and they appear to be the original um, uh, bronze type um, it's got the early inlet manifolds, not the really early type that are solid metal, I've only seen them once but these type with the insulator block um, it has had the uh, the locking nuts for the manifolds, they have been damaged by pe by trying to tighten them. And the this side's okay, the other side is, is loose so it needs sorting out. Um, I'd be tempted to go um, with some high temperature Loctite these days. Um, just to give that little bit of extra security. I've got the original horn on there, that's not that uncommon but the grills often go missing. It's had various bits of wiring added in uh, it's got the later style switch gear which is actually easier to use 
I haven't quite worked out what's going on here with the um, the clutch lever perch because it's only got one hole for the early style switch and I'm trying to work out whether it's been cut down or whether it's actually a um, um, a different uh, lever perch that they put on there but we'll have to see about sorting that out not sure what's going on or has gone on uh, with these extra holes in the the top yoke some someone's had something bolted on there and another thing you don't see very often is the original rubber tank pad uh, which is wired on uh, I mean this thing is is really crusty and smelly uh, the rubbers degraded though it's in better condition than almost anyone I've seen before and uh, what else we got we've got uh, an indicator relay and a buzzer and uh, some speaker wire that was associated with with hooking that up uh, it's an early enough machine that there are no lugs on the frame for indicators they did a fitting kit that picked up on the bolts on the uh, the rear plate um, mounting and uh, one of the things you, you see on original bikes but often don't on rebuild is all the rubber um, isolator washers um, up here as well and uh, yeah, original silencers and not that one's not too bad a shape the one on this side has had some damage there's a big dent up here where the wheel spindle is and there's a big crease in the side here but the uh, the tires are very ancient and wooden and cracked they've definitely got to go really quite a tidy looking fuse panel um, as far as they go um, you, they, these are often um, you know the wiring's all been pulled in and out a few times and not really folded back neatly like they did it at the uh, the factory and again little original straps here and there and uh, overall pretty good. It's had um, plates welded onto the frame for for rear sets at some stage but it's running its original and really quite uncomfortable to ride um, forward foot controls. They, they're not a good good pairing with the uh, the clip-on bars unless you're a uh, short slim Italian and uh, very few of us are and certainly there's nothing that's jumping out at me that that's going to be major problems. It's just going to be the all, all the usual strip and clean forks, strip and clean the brakes, lubricate the uh, the cam spindles, um, wheel bearings. Uh, there'll be the headstock bearings. Service the engine cam belt, obviously, almost certainly a uh, flywheel remagnetize. Um, the recorded uh, mileage, it's entirely possible that that's correct. A lot of these bikes um, didn't get ridden a whole bunch. Um, but we, we may may have to uh, rebuild the rocker gear. Uh, particularly if they were occasional use bikes, then that can be uh, worn enough to be worth doing. And, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, there's a... There's some play in the um, the swing arm bushes. It's probably MOTable. Um, would get an advisory. So uh, yeah, then we, we should probably look at um, at doing that. But 
yeah, it's a ni nice, nice example. And uh, I look forward to uh, getting started on it, and we'll uh, record progress as we go.